Hello again and welcome back to our course on Project 2019. In this section, I'm going to take a very quick look at what's new in Project 2019. And one of the reasons that it is a quick look is that there isn't really very much of a difference between Project 2019 and Project 2016 in terms of functionality that's specific to Project. So I'm currently looking at one of the pages on office.com and it's called What's New in Project 2019? Now, as I pointed out before, I normally say at this point that you need to check the latest information. Well, I don't expect they're going to put anything else new in Project 2019, so when you come to watch this video, I don't expect any other additions. But let's go through some of the main points anyway, because there are just a few of them. So the first thing it says here, the opening paragraph, is if you're upgrading to Project Professional 2019 from 2016, you'll still have all of the features that you're used to and you'll notice a few new ones as well. And this is a really interesting one actually, linking tasks using a drop down menu. So instead of having to remember the ID of a task when you're linking tasks together, what you can do is just click in the predecessors column and from the drop down arrow, you'll get a list of all of the different tasks so you can create links between them very easily. So that's a really nice new feature in 2019. You'll also see the addition of a task summary name field. And as it says in here, with a long list of tasks, it can be difficult to know what a task is indented under in the overall project plan. So the task summary name field is a read only field and it shows the name of the task's summary task. So again, that's going to be really helpful. Now, I realize at this stage in the course, this is probably going to mean nothing to you. But as I said, there are only three or four new features in here. So I thought I might as well highlight them to you. Another new feature is the timeline bar labels and task progress. So this is a really good one as well. So our timeline bars, which we're going to build up as we go through, can now be labeled. So it makes them a little bit more meaningful because you can have the name of the task and also the task progress shown right on the tasks themselves. So it makes it very quick to illustrate your plan and the work in progress when sharing status. And of course, there's always improvements made to accessibility with each new release of Microsoft Office. So in 2019, it's now a lot easier for Windows Narrator and other assistive technology to read more elements of project, which is always an excellent feature to have for anybody who has impairments in that area. And then you'll see at the bottom of that page, we have some basic tutorials for adding tasks in project and also a project quick start guide. So as you can see, not too many changes in there, but the ones that they have made are very useful and very important. The other thing that I think is always really helpful when you're going into a new version of a piece of software is to have a look on the Microsoft site at some of the blogs related to project. And there's so many of them down here, but those can also be really helpful and provide you with extra information when it comes to putting together your project. So I would definitely check out the blog site within Microsoft.com. And that's it really short and sweet with regards to changes. That's what's new in project 2019. In the next section, we're actually going to get started on a project. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe. So you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now to get a free Microsoft project 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, go ahead and click right over there and click right over there to watch all the videos in this Project 2019 Beginners Playlist.